what's fantastic about Ron is he brings everything together for us in a really amazing perspective that only somebody who has spent so much time up in space looking down on Earth can. So Ron, please give us a bigger perspective. On Spaceship Earth, we do not have a closed life support system. That means that at our present rate, we're using up resources faster than, than, than they're being replenished, which means on our present trajectory, there will come a time where we will use up the resources necessary for life. And so we need to do something about that. The interrelated structure of all reality. This is not a philosophy. This is not a cliche. This is fact. This is the reality of the world that we live in. And to illustrate this reality, I want to take you on a journey to, to, to space and back. What really struck me in that first moment looking at the planet was just how unbelievably thin our atmosphere was. And I was hit with the realization, the sobering realization, that that paper-thin layer is keeping every living thing on our planet alive. And that, that was a kind of a scary thought. But in contrast to the fragility of our planet, you couldn't help but fall in love with the beauty of our planet. It was a constant dance of lights and colors. And as we passed onto the dark side of the orbit, it was amazing to see thunderstorms casting long shadows across the horizon and watch the clouds turn to pink and to red and to gray and finally black. And as we crossed into the dark side of the orbit to see the earth come alive, to see all the, the lights of the towns and the cities, all the evidence of human activity all of a sudden come to life, it really gave you this sense that we live on this living, breathing organism, but you also thought about the environmental impact of what we were seeing. We also saw paparazzi-like flashes of thunderstorms. We saw auroras that felt so close that we could reach out and, and touch them. It, it was really an incredibly beautiful visual experience. But it was much, much more than just a visual experience. What I experienced in that moment was a profound sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the opportunity to see the, the planet from that perspective, but also gratitude for the planet that we've all been given and in some way that I really can't explain being separated from the only world I had ever known made me feel deeply interconnected with, with everyone on it. My kinship extended much, at a much greater radius than it ever had before. In 1987, author Frank White coined the term the overview effect in a book by the same name, which explores a shift in perspective that astronauts can have when they see the planet from space and in space. From that vantage point, we see the reality of our lives, that we live on a living planet. So if the overview effect is the shift in perspective that astronauts can have, the orbital perspective is what you do with that shift. The orbital perspective is the call to action that comes from the overview effect. The orbital perspective is the direct understanding that we are all inseparably interconnected. I want to share with you a story of my return to Earth. When it was time to come home, my two Russian crewmates and I got into our spacecraft, we undocked, we did a couple laps around the planet, and as we crossed the south tip of South America, we turned our spacecraft around to point our engines backwards. And I, as I did this, I saw this crescent moon go by the, the window. We had this fiery, violent ride through the atmosphere. The parachutes opened. We got slammed all over the place. Eventually, we slammed into the ground. We bounced. We rolled. We flipped over. And we landed on our side. And now my window was pointed down at the ground. And out of my window, I saw a rock, a flower, and a blade of grass. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm home. And what was really interesting about that thought is I was home, but I was in Kazakhstan. And so for me, at that moment, my home wasn't just Houston, Texas, where I, at the time I lived with my family. My home was Earth.